guys how you doing uh, new camera testing type thing I'm giving this one a go anyway um, it's obviously winter outside new hat which is all very good um, so I took some footage a while ago basically I forgot just totally forgot about it um, and the first bit of it was kind of covering the ad blue uh, some people were having issues with ad blue and you know filling up and not doing the level registration thing properly so I thought oh I'll, I'll, you know when it's time I'll get my one on film which I did and that kind of led on to um, have a few bits and pieces while I had a bit of spare time to go out and check on the van now it all relates to uh, this thread uh, over here which I printed out the first couple of pages and it's about um, service intervals and inspections and I thought right okay let's have a little look at this this should be quite an interesting one quite a good one and um, the front page of, of this here, I pulled off of the uh, Volkswagen uh, commercial vehicle website, detailing uh, what's involved, what they do on the two services. So oh, let's have a look. They do the £145 plus VAT service, which is the oil filter health check. And then the next one they do, they call it the full service, which is the 295 plus batch, should be a fixed price across all the dealers, uh, which is uh, the oil filter health check as per previous plus all of the rest of it. So, I thought I'd have a quick look. The, yeah, obviously as it's detailed on here, the service is like big, small, big, small, big, small, and all the way through. Some people may decide to do their oil change every year. It's fine, great, you know, no problem. Uh, someone quite rightly put out that the price of an oil change is a lot cheaper than the price of a, an engine in the long run. And I would probably quite agree, actually, that the whole idea of this uh, long, long oil service interval is purely for, like, fleet. If you've got a fleet of 100 vehicles, uh, what's the total cost of ownership over three or five years? Uh, obviously extended uh, service intervals, longer life oil means less money outlay and probably agree but from a mechanical background um, yeah I mean modern oils are much better than the older mineral based oils but um, it can't hurt if you've got the money and you've got the time to do once a year, once every 5,000, 10,000 whatever you want, you know, great, brilliant. Um, if you're planning on keeping the van long term, then yeah, absolutely. Right, crack on. What's the price of the oil on the filter now? You can get it for what, £75 maybe, say? Anyway, I digress. Right, let's have a look at this one. So the, um, the interim uh, service, small one, I'll read out what they look uh, what they look at, and then we will go and have a look, hopefully on the van, and see what it's all about. So just to go through the list quickly, they check the uh, wipers, washers, and fluid level. Um, Hall lights, conditioner of the front and rear lamps, lights, instruments, yep, yeah, okay. Battery magic eye, I mean, come on, really? Like, that, they actually put that, they check the battery magic eye? Come on, of course they don't. Coolant level and anti-free strength, they may well check the level, I very much doubt they, they check the strength. Uh, condition of visible belts, yeah, absolutely. Um, brake fluid level, well, as you'll see in the video, uh, it should never need topping up, it's a closed system, unless you've got a leak. Uh, power assisted steering wheel, uh, yeah they may check the level, but again, closed system, so unless you've got a leak, that should be fine. Um, saturation indicator on the air filter if fitted, that's great, I love that. Just a little strain gauge dial mechanical thing on the air box. Uh, you know, they, they won't even change the filter, um, unless you ask them to. Uh, unless they look at this, you know, the gauge thing on the air box, like, whatever. Um, tire condition, wear pattern and tire tread depths, you'll see that, we cover that in the video. Uh, tire pressures, um, correct them in if necessary, uh, they might do, I mean it's, it's easy once once they've got the airline out. Um, brake system for leaks and damage, yep sure once it's up on there they can just have a look along the brake pipes no problem. Thickness of front and rear brake pad linings, yeah of course they check that because they want to sell you some new brake pads and that, you'll see that in the video hopefully. Uh, steering and suspension, wear and tear and linkages, yeah, they're definitely going to check that. Drive shafts and, yeah, CB um, boots and whatnot. Uh, condition of the exhaust system, might be a bit rusty. 
Uh, that then goes on to uh, page two of my printout and we have changed the engine oil and filter. You have definitely reset the service interval delay, whether it be long life or not long life. That's the small one. Uh, now, essentially, on the, the full service, in addition to all of that, they add some extra bits and pieces and they charge you a bit more for it. Uh, so, let's have a look. Um, airbags, visible damage, check sunroof, tipper system, uh, um, paint and bodywork for damage and corrosion. Like, has anyone ever had them come up with and say, oh, the paintwork's damaged, or got corrosion on it? Uh, expiry data breakdown set. Huh? I think that's more for the foam and the pump. Um, condition of visible belts, uh, gearbox, um, the final drive for leakage, manual gearbox oil level, final drive oil level, uh, ABS sensors and cables, mm, not sure, supplementary rubber rings, exhaust system, uh, steering boots and joints, coolant level 83, strength, automatic, uh, the transmission fluid, battery, idle speed, headlight adjustment, drive shaft, you know, Six hours later. Right, okay, let's have a look at this uh, add blue level, see where we're at at the minute. It actually says uh, 800 miles to go. Um, two gallons up to 2.75 gallons, so we'll see. Nice bit of Halford special. Right, so that's topped up that, uh, what was it, 10 litres, that big tub. Um, all right, now let's see what the dashboard says. So I'll get you in here. Ignition on. Uh, this is my mobiliser business. All oh, right, yep, there we go. Yep, so it's just popped up to, uh, what was that, 5,500 miles. So um, give it a start. All good. Right, mind your head on the bit. So under the uh, engine bay, we've got the coolant reservoir. Now, I'm not going to open it because the engine's still hot. Um, but you've got your min max, and as you can see on my one, it's, it's right on the max, so that's fine. That's that one. Um, this one. This is your windscreen washer. Obviously, I've done that one before, so that's all good and okay. Uh, this one here, just off camera, is the. This one here is the brake fluid. Now this one's just under ooh, uh, camera 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 issue, shall we say. Right, this one's just under the minimum, which is perfectly um, as expected because as the brake pads are wearing down, um, the pistons and the calipers get close to the disc and therefore there's there's more fluid in the line. So that's fine. Don't top it up because when you put your new brake pads in, you push the calipers and the pistons back, this oil level will go back up again, so that's fine. Um, right, what else we got here? This one, power steering fluid, but we're not going to do that one. Uh, let's have a look at the dipstick.
Right now that was about, I don't know what, third of the way up the range. But the thing is, this is going in for its uh, first oil service in 200 miles, so I'm not going to top it up. I topped it up halfway through. Um, so we'll leave that, leave that, let it go in um, to the main dealers, and when they do their oil change, they can then top it all up. So just while we're in here, obviously visual inspection, check out for any uh, oil leaks and anything obvious that don't look right. Um, I have actually got a slight oil leak by the looks of it on the top end. Let's see if I can uh, show you. Right, I don't know if you can see it in here without the torch, but sort of down there, just underneath the uh, charge cooler, it looks a little bit damp. Damp and a bit snotty down here. And down there. Uh, sort of down over there. And basically, seems to be coming from down the back over there. Looks like there's a union that it looks like it's weeping out of. Uh, but that's a warranty job, so we'll pass it into them. Let me see what they say about it, get them to fix it. Right, while we're over this side, battery. Make sure your uh, connections are all, all nice and tight. All good. All good. Looks good. Right. So down onto the wheels and the tyres. Next thing is with the, with your tyres, you need at least uh, 1.6 mil across the centre two thirds of the tyre. So we're going to use this little gauge. There's a little gauge here, and basically you put it between the gaps. So there you can see we've got about 5.2 there. Oh. Uh, about 5.4 there. Again, 5.3. And five on the inside edge. Right, let's check the other side. Oh, by the way, this is a new tire not so long ago. Mm, not good this one. But this is the original one, it's done 11,000 miles. Yeah, there you go, look. Original, original tyres, again these have done uh, what, 11, 11 and a half thousand miles um, on the rear so you've still got loads of chunk left on them. This time we're going to go for this type of gauge. So as it pushes down to there, totally flat so let's zero the gauge, zero, pop it out, slide it in on the tyre, what have we got there? 5.4. Second one, 5.4, and over there, 5.6, no problem with these, these are good. Right, again while we're down here, let's have a look at these brake pads. Um, I think the recommended limit is about 2mm, two, two um, but I can double check that. Anyway, so again visual inspection we can just about see the um, the edge of the pad in here so if I can see if I can uh, try and zoom in and get you a shot
yeah, loads on them pads. Maybe down to 50%, but nothing to worry about anyway. All right, let's move on. Right, so another one is uh, full bulb check. So let's turn the let's turn the lights on, uh, hazards. Let's go around and uh, check check all the bulbs, all the rest of it. Turn this on as well. There's some fog light. We had some fog light styling into it. Right, that's all good. What else have we got? Uh, windscreen, windscreen wipers and bits and pieces. So, let's have a look at the windscreen. Oh, washy, washy, washy. Yeah, no problem with them. They're all nice and uh, nice and wishy washy. Um, seat belts, more of an MOT thing really, but obviously seat belts uh, go without saying. Make sure that they pull out the track nicely, clip in and disengage. Um, on the uh, on the engine side of thing, make sure we haven't got no uh, engine lights or airbag lights or any other kind of warnings or bits and pieces. That's all good. Right, okay. Let's uh, let's move on. Uh, just um, just a quick one while we're in here. Um, we should use the search function on the forum, but uh, how do you swap over this this lock? Obviously swapped out. We've got the we've got the black uh, black dashboard lower section uh, over here. Black black door cards and whatnot, which is all very nice. Um, got that swapped out. The the cigarette socket that was a bit of a challenge, but we've got that. Out. But uh, I'm not going around to doing this yet. Yeah, I need to swap over the lock. Never mind. This thing even recording. I think it is. <coughs> Did you record it? Well, there we go. Uh, what did you think of that? That was a quick look at the um, T6 service interval inspection, flexible, long life, short life, whatever you want to do it, uh, as detailed on the Volkswagen website. Uh, obviously, I haven't got a ramp, um, so the underbody inspection well, you can imagine what they do, and hopefully you'll get the uh, the videos that they do, which are quite helpful, that they can email you, so you'll be able to see yourself underneath the vehicle. Um, make sure not, none of the underbody plastic trays are, are damaged. I mean, this time of year, going through uh, big puddles, nightmare, just just don't do it. I know it's, it's fun to like, drive through big mad puddles, but trust me, it will break the, the plastics uh, off the bottom of the car. I've had it loads of times before. Right pain in the butt uh, so they can get damaged this time of year snow as well believe it or not it could be really damaging so um, stay away from the big puddles stay away from the, uh, the big snow and the big chunky bits and pieces um, if you've got a four motion uh, have a look at the uh, rear wheel drive the rear diff the, the Haldex linkage on my last van I had just major trouble with it um, leaking ended up with a new diff um, Three months down the road, leak, you know, brand new diff, exactly the same leak. Uh, long story short, a year later, um, they'd redesigned a simple O-ring, just a rubber seal that, that fixed the problem. So um, we're looking for oil leaks and all those kind of bits and pieces. That's what the garage is going to do. Um, I have got some footage somewhere actually of the dash cam when it uh, when the van went in for a service, but it wasn't fed off the leisure battery, so I didn't get the whole service. Uh, but that's something I might look at digging out maybe. See what happens when the van is actually, you know, when you wave goodbye to it, you give them keys to them and you wonder what happens. Well, um, GPS tracker on the van will show you exactly where the van is and the dash cam front and rear can give you a, a good idea of what's what. 
uh, but essentially they're going to take it round the back, get it in the bay, sign a mechanic or an engineer to your van to do that job. They will have the print out of the description, any faults that you've highlighted, uh, basically go through, check all the fluids, or this, that, the other, any extra bits and pieces that they think uh, that you might need to be charged for, then all being well, uh, they will then come to you, seek authorization, do you want X, Y, and Z done? Yes, no, how much, get it done, happy days. Um, so that'll do for now. If I've missed anything, by all means, let me know. Um, we can revisit the subject uh, again. Uh, I've got some more footage somewhere, but there you go. You know, mm, whatever. Anyway, um, love you all. Um, see you all soon. Hopefully, I meet up. It's uh, winter time now. Summer's fast, uh, fast approaching for next year. I should hopefully be able to get to a lot more meets in 2020. The dates are all kind of working in my favour, so that's good. Um, Gadget tech wise, uh, not really for this video, but made full advantage of uh, Black Friday. So, we've got some new uh, small 8 inch tablets for Carista and uh, mobile internet, and um, a few other bits and pieces, and more camera tech uh, car gadgets and the normal kind of stuff. Um, loads of uh, LED lighting, bits and bobs going on in the background. I know I'm being chased to uh, do a couple of videos, but Believe it or not, it takes absolutely ages to do this kind of stuff. You think it's really easy, but it can it can take a while. So anyway, uh, love you all, Paul Lee team, mods, uh, members, admins, everyone else. Love you lots, and I'll see you soon. Ta-da!